Yeah, that's right, Jeff. So as I pointed out earlier, there's like hundreds of protesters out here meshed in with the media, hundreds of media as well, because you have folks from all across the country, some from different uh, parts of the world as well, waiting for the former president to show up. So that's here, right? But there's a huge impact in the neighborhoods that we cannot see from neighbors who are used to a, a quieter environment. 11 Alive's Bo Beth Yates has more on the impact there. Bo Beth. Ron, exactly right. I'm at the historic Howell Mill Station neighborhood, which is uh, really close to the Fulton County Jail. And there has been a steady flow of people here and police presence. In fact, if you look behind me, the police presence actually just increased just a few moments ago as they have stopped some individuals starting to question them about some things that are going on. Now, officials aren't telling us exactly what the details are surrounding this, but again, multiple law enforcement agencies from different areas that are coming around here to help out to support with safety and just controlling the crowd just gathered here questioning individuals about exactly a situation that has occurred and we're trying to get those details but take a listen to how neighbors are reacting to all of this I expect this because I think that's what the mainstream media wants you to think is that people don't support him and they do Jenny Manjin is among the about 100 Trump supporters who have flocked to the area around the Fulton County Jail on Rice Street to show their support for the former president, calling the gathering a MAGA fest. But people who live nearby aren't loving the increased attention around their community. My neighbor is quiet and nice and nice and comfortable, but right now there's so much traffic. I just uh, come back from my children's school. And I don't know what's going on here. In addition to traffic, there's also multiple road closures and a heavy police presence. Dozens of media organizations have also staked out positions along the roadway. My sister couldn't go to work because of all the hoopla, but she works down the road. So she works on the computer anyway. So, but other than that, no, God's got it. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about what's going on here because God's going to bring it all out. Now, um, we we'll also spoke to some residents in the area who tell us that, that they're not in support of anything. They are Trump. They're part of history. Setting up to you guys.